hey guys welcome to another tutorial from the code city and today we will be creating this so as you can see here i can do this and i can click here and click here or swipe so this is the tab view this is a tab and these are fragments that are in a view pager that are uh, you know set up with the tab so let's get started So first you go to file and you create a new project and now Android provides default template for that. So <laughs> it's, you know, you don't have to code. It's so easy. So I just don't click that. Let's call this tabbed app. And we just hit finish. This is pretty much this it guys. <laughs> this is all you have to do. Now you'll have the tab activity. And the one I was showing you showing you was actually the default app that uh, will be created when this loading finishes. Okay, so the, now the project has been built successfully. We can go into what files are created. Now, if you run this project, you'll see exactly this will be created. We have two tabs and we have two fragments here associated with the two tabs. So let's check out what is created now if we go into resources you'll have activity main and fragment main here activity main as the name suggests is the main activity and we will have to you no know, we will have the view pager here so let me explain you what this is now this is the root layout the coordinator layout we are using this because we have a floating action button here now if you don't need this just remove this all right let's remove this so you don't you should not have much code you should only have the code that is absolutely necessary you know too much code is is you are inviting problems it's difficult to debug if you have too much code all right now then we have this app bar layout all right so now let me just minimize this too this app bar layout is as you can see this layout this is uh, it was called the action bar and now it's just called the app bar and in here we we have this text view that says uh, tabbed app that has our app's name and then we have our tab layout all right this is the tab layout this is the tab layout so in our app bar we have a title and the tab layout and then in this empty space we have the view pager now this view pager is required because uh, you know we want to be able to slide this thing like we are doing right now all right this few pages we hold uh, will hold our fragments all right so this is pretty much it for the uh, this is pretty much it for the ui <laughs> i'm messing up my language and if we go into our java code or kotlin code if you have done in kotlin first let's take a look at the main activity now this is pretty straightforward we have our content view here now this is the sections adapter now this adapter is responsible for displaying data in the ui you know filtering data and how you want to display the data what action you want to take so this is the adapter it's actually the adapter between the data and the ui you can think of it like that now we'll go into this in detail a little bit later uh, first let's go to these lines now this is in red because we deleted the fab so let's just remove this also and remove this also we don't need fab at the moment if you wanted to have it you can have it now the view pager then we are refreshing the view pager and then we are setting the adapter to the view pager so the data in the view pager will be shown according to the logic in our settings pager adapter a sections pager adapter all right and then we have refreshed to our tab layout and then we are using this setup with view pager method for our tabs so this is pretty much it guys now if you set your tabs with view pager this is all you have to do all the things all the logic can be applied to the view pager and the view pager fragment and you just set your tabs with the view pager and you don't have to do anything else so this is the key method set up with view pager now we will look more into how we are displaying fragments using the adapter in the view pager all right so first let's let's first go into sections pager adapter the, uh, you can just hold control and click and then you can go to this page the sections page adapter all right so here we in the adapter 
as I said, this is responsible for what is displayed in the view page. We have tab titles. We have two tab titles here. Text tab text one and tab text two. Again, I hold control and click on the tab text one. And here we have tab one, tab two. You can name it anything. All right. So you can say home. You can say settings. Now this will be the tab name. Okay. Now and this is just the constructor. Now this get item method. Now this gives you the fragment that will be visible in a specific tab. So in this get item we have this position. So right now we are in tab one. So this position is zero. All right. Here we'll have zero as the position. And when we go there or go to the tab two, this position will become one. And when the, whenever this get item is called, this position will be one. So in here we actually need to return the return the appropriate fragment that needs to be displayed all right so how is this being handled at the moment as you can see here it, this is returning a placeholder fragment and this new instance method is a static method in this placeholder fragment and we are passing the this thing passing the parameter position plus one now this is actually being used here see it is uh, saying hello world from section two and if you go here, it will say hello of section one. Now, this is the fragment that is being returned here. This fragment and this fragment. So whenever the position is one, this fragment is being returned because uh, when the position is zero, this fragment is being returned from here. All right. Now, and in the care sequence, we are just saying, uh, sorry, in the get, get page title, we are just getting the strings from our string resources that are here all right so when it is when the position is zero we get uh, the string that is associated associated with this resource and when the position is one we get the string that is associated with this resource all right that was kind of like wrapping <laughs> and this get count will return the total number of pages we have two here because we will have two pages you can set it dynamically to an array size or anything else like that. All right. Now, what else? What else? Yeah. So this is the section page adapter. Now, how is this data being handled in the section, the fragment? This says hello world from section one. This says hello world from section two. But here we are returning just the fragment. That means that uh, the data population is being handled inside the fragment itself. So if we go to the fragment here. So again i just did control click now in here we can see we have a final static string let's say section number and we have a view model so this view model is like uh how do i put it this view model is responsible for what data should we fetch for this ui all right so fragment in itself is just a ui this is just this white thing now this displays hello world from section two and this tab one displays hello world from section one. Now this is being handled by our view model. All right. So if we check out this new instance method that was being used in this adapter, or sorry, in this get item, so we are using this new instance method, right? Let's check out what it does. Now this is a static method because we want to be able to call this even without creating an instance or object of placeholder fragment, all right? Now we pass the index and the return type is placeholder fragment. So we create a new placeholder fragment here. Now the fragment is created. Now the thing is what to display in the fragment one or two. All right. So once we create the fragment, we create a new bundle and we put parameter in the bundle. That's a, that is the argument section number. And then we pass the index that was being passed on by our adapter here see so the value will be one for the zeroth fragment that is this fragment and it will be two for this fragment all right so in the new instance we are getting that value here and in the bundle we put this value here and we set the arguments of this fragment like this and as the arguments we are passing this bundle and then we return the fragment so now our fragment is instantiated with the data that it requires and uh, okay this fragment is here and in this on create 
what we do is in this on create we are initializing our view model we will go into the core of the view model a little bit later and then we get this arguments so this get arguments is what we will get when uh, this set arguments is set in a fragment all right so initially when the fragment is not initialized uh, or whenever this new instance is not created uh, we set the index to one so get arguments is null will be null initially and then we set the page view models index to one so by default this one will be visible here all right so now when the set argument is called our arguments will not be equals to null and we can get the argument we'll get the int and we'll use the key so this was the key on which we were saving this index right or the value and we get the index like this and in the view model we set the index like this so the set index is actually a function in uh, view model that is uh, custom created it's not given by default now what is the use of the view model all right we will get into it a little bit later so now our view model is initialized here and we set the details or set the parameter in the view model that defines which fragment we are on on the first fragment or on the second fragment all right now in on create view is where the magic well everything is kind of like magic but where the uh, magic takes effect or where the text is displayed so first of all we inflate the view that we want to display now here we want to display fragment main all right so this is the fragment it's nothing but just a text view here in a constraint layout so now since we have inflated this now we can get the text view from this root this is the root right and find view by id section label all right now this is the section label okay now we go page view model dot get text dot observe now what is this doing now this is a very useful when we are getting data from an api or a network or something like that okay so observe is observing for new data and whenever we get the response that response can be as you can see here set text that response can be used and displayed in the ui okay so we go page view model get text and observe and whenever our data is received we just set it as the text in the text view all right now how is this being how so what you can get from here is whenever we are on fragment one the text that we get is hello world from section one and whenever we go to tab two the text that we receive from the view page model is hello world from section two and that is being displayed so our data is uh, what data to be displayed is being handled by view page model page view model all right so let's see how it is done now let's go to page view model okay so if you remember in our on create we were using this set index so what it does is it's just taking a integer value and in this m index that is a mutable live data we are setting the value of that index so this is a live data that means it can be observed and these both of these can be observed the difference is this can be changed and this cannot be changed once set all right so now once this is set uh, the value here is set like right? we were using the set index so once we will receive one here and in the second fragment when we move the second fragment we will receive two here all right and accordingly the value will be set in this live data now as you see here we are using this transformations dot map that means that this this m index that is the mutable live data this is the source data so this uh, we are listening to this source data and whenever we have a new data in this source data this function is applied all right this function is used so this function is integer string it's just it's just returning a string according to this integer so what this is uh, this function uses the data in here all right so this source is applied to this function now when we have one here the integer input will be one and we will return hello from hello world from section one 
and when we move to another fragment this will return hello world from section 2 all right this is pretty much straightforward so this is what is being returned and now in get text see this is running live data this is this m text now we are just returning m text so as you can see this is an observable so if we go to the use of get text here you can see we are doing get text and we are returned a live data here and since there is a live data we can observe the live data and whenever we receive something new here we are just setting the text as the text view here and the text view what did i just say so we are just setting the text that is received in the text view all right so this is pretty much it now if we run this you'll see that this is home and this is settings and yes this is pretty much it it's pretty simple and very, very intuitive right now by android studio and if you have any questions please ask me i'll help you and i'll help you to the best of my abilities all right if this helped you just feel free to share and subscribe thanks a lot guys see you next time